hi welcome in this video we will see how to download and uh, install pytorch on windows 11 so for this uh, just search for pytorch and here you can see the official link to pytorch which is uh, pytorch.org just click on that here you can see the web page to pytorch and just scroll down a bit and you can see uh, here are different options to choose uh, in order to install pytorch the first one is pytorch build which is uh, the stable one 1.13.1 uh, and then after that you have to choose operating system so i'm uh, installing on windows so just click on windows or if you want to install this on linux so just click on linux so i'm going with windows and then package going to install uh, pytorch with uh, conda or pip or libtorch so select accordingly i'm just going with pip language uh, i'm going with python and then compute platform so if you have a gpu then you have to select cuda and if your machine doesn't have uh, a gpu then you simply go with cpu so i have gpu so i'm just going to choose the latest version of cuda which is uh, supported by uh, pytorch so here you can see 11.7 uh, and cuda 11.6 there are la latest release of uh, cuda which is 11.12 i think so we are not going with uh, that because that is not supported by pytorch so we can use uh, cuda 11.7 so after selecting the options uh, here you have the command that you need to run your uh, command prompt but before that uh, you have to install the dependencies so we have two dependencies the first uh, we have to install python and then we have to install coda toolkit so let's first install python just type python.org here is the official website to python just click on downloads so here you can see the latest release of python is 3.11.2 but we are not going to download this because this might have some dependencies issues with pytorch however i have tried with uh, Py pytorch with uh, python 3.10.7 so i'm going to install 3.10.7 so for this you have to check the uh, specific release of python so here you can see we have 3.10.7 so just click on that and then scroll down to download the interpreter according to your cpu ar architecture so uh, i have 64 bit architecture so just click on windows installer 64 bit and it starts downloading so once download is uh, completed just go to downloads folder and here we have python 3.10.7 so just double click and install before uh, installing make sure to check the add python 3.10 to path so this will uh, automatically uh, set the python interpreter directory to the system variable path and then click on install now so python setup was successfully installed so just click on close and uh, open cmd command prompt and here you can check whether python is installed and not so for that just type python and here you can see python 3.10.7 is installed successfully you can type a simple query uh, just to check whether it is working correctly or not and you can see so just exit from python uh, pip version so for that type the command pip space hyphen hyphen version and uh, you can see pip 23.0 version is installed on your machine so as you can see here we have uh, two depend dependencies uh, for pytorch to install the first one is pip and the second one is cuda so we have successfully installed pip so now we are going to install cuda so cuda toolkit so before uh, going to install cuda uh, let me show you one more thing we must have latest version of pip in order to upgrade the uh, pip version you have to type the command pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip this will uh, update the pip version it's going to install uh, 23.0.1 so as you can see it is installing the latest release of the uh, or latest version of the pip this is giving an error so let me check the version again okay pip version so it's uh, again by pip 23.0 so just we have to run this command in order to upgrade pip 
so just copy and paste it here as it is already downloaded so it's just uh, installed the pip 23.0.1 version so let me check pip version again so now you can see we have pip 23.0.1 that's how we installed python and upgrade the pip version so after that we have to install the second dependency which is coda so for this just type coda toolkit and here you can see the official website of nvidia but uh, we have to open the link with coda toolkit archive because we are not going to install the latest release of coda toolkit which is you can see 12.0 but we have to install we need to install 11.7 so that's why we are going to archived uh, web page of the nvidia here you can see uh, the latest release is 12.0.1 but we have to install coda 11.7 as it is supported by the pytorch you can see here so just click on 11.7.0 uh, select your operating system and architecture and then version select exe or local and now you can see the download option just click on that this is a heavy file of 2.5 gb it will take time to download once the download is completed uh, just go to downloads folder and uh, now you can see we have coda 11.7.0 just double click on that click ok now it is extracting the coda toolkit now it is checking system compatibility uh, this is asking that you are installing an older version as we know we have we are going to install 11.7 which is the older version so just continue and agree and continue license agreement and then custom or express we are going with express or recommended one next and just check this option and next it's preparing for installation this is the installation summary and just click on next nvidia installer has finished and just click on close now in order to check whether it is installed or not and which version of the uh, CUDA toolkit is installed so just open command prompt and uh, type nvcc hyphen hyphen version so you can see nvidia CUDA 11.7 is installed and with nvcc stands for nvidia cuda compiler so just close this one and uh, let's move back to the pytorch website now you can see we have installed python we have the pip package installed and we have the coda 11.7 so now just copy this command and uh, open command prompt and paste the command you can use this pip tree or you can simply use pip both works but uh, i'm just deleting this three and just using the pip install torch torch vn and torch studio and just click enter now in order to verify whether torch is installed successfully or not just open command prompt and uh, type python now we are in python interpreter and uh, let's import torch now just we uh, type a simple command to check whether it is working or not so let's print torch dot rent between two and four means let's enter now you can see we are just printing a matrix of two rows and four columns so that means torch is working accurately and it is installed successfully now we just want to check whether we have coda in our machine or not coda or gpu so for this let's write torch dot coda dot is available it returns true that means we have gpu installed in our machine so suppose we want to check how many uh, coda devices we have in our machine for that we have to type torch dot coda dot device count so now as in my machine we have only one gp installed so that's why it returns one so if you want to check the name of the device name of the coda device you can type torch dot coda dot get device name so you can see nvidia geforce and 940mx i have uh, this uh, gpu 
installed in my machine in order to summarize we have done uh, pytorch installation in this video and uh, in order to install pytorch we have to install uh, python interpreter and uh, uh, coda toolkit so we have uh, first we have done uh, python installation and after that uh, we have downloaded and installed coda, coda toolkit and after that we have installed pytorch on windows 11 so that's it